Hi everyone, welcome to my English class. I am G. Aruna, working as PGT English in Telangana State Model School, Mutsyal, Mandal, Cheria. Today, I am going to explain a poem from 10th class textbook, Unit 8, Reading B. The poem name is Once Upon a Time, written by Gabriel Okara. About the author. Gabriel Okara is an African poet. He was born in 1921 in Nigeria. He was educated at Government College, Humaya. His parents were not rich. He worked as a book binder and later as an information officer at Enugu. He also wrote plays and features for broadcasting and became a poet of outstanding ability. His poems appeared regularly in Black or P.S. He has also written a novel called Voice. We'll know about the glossary. Cocktail. A drink usually made from a mixture of two or more alcoholic drinks. Conform. To be and thinking the same way as most other people in a group or society. Normally acceptable. Portrait. A painting, drawing or photograph of a person, especially of the head and shoulders. Good riddance, a feeling of relief when an unwanted person leaves. Muting, changing all the time, as ex expressionless, not expressed in speech. Fangs, long, sharp teeth of some animals like snakes and dogs. We'll go through the poem. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes. But now they only laugh with their teeth while their eyes block cold eyes such behind my shadow. There was a time, indeed, they used to shake hands with their hearts. But that gone, son, they now they shake hands without hearts while their left hand search my empty pockets. Feel at home, come again, they say, and when I come again and feel at home, once, twice, there will be no thrice, for then I find doors shut on me. So, I have learned many things, son. I have learned to wear many faces, like dresses, home face, office face, street face, Host face, cocktail face, with all these conforming smiles, like a fixed portrait smile. But believe me, son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh, for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. So, show me, son, how to laugh. Show me how I use it to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. Summary of the poem. The poem Once Upon a Time is written by Gabriel Okara, a Nigerian poet. It is written in the black drop of Nigeria's independence from Britain. The poet seemed to be shocked by the change of lifestyle, values, morals and total change in the world's view in the new independent country. He seemed to be mourning for the passing away of a life, way of life. Though the country is politically independent, it seemed to be still influenced by British culture. The poet remembers the way the people used to behave and interact with each other, how the people used to do things with their hearts and souls. The poet describes the what happened when a traditional African culture and civilization meets with the Western culture. With his nostalgic vision, the poet recalls the golden times of the past. The purpose of the poem is to outline the behavior and personality of the people at the moment. It also makes an attempt to bring back the personality, personality of the people 
who used to do things with emotion and heart. The poem is a conversation between a father and his son. The son does things with emotions and father wants to forget his fake personality and relearn and recreate his personality by following the values of the past. He asks his son to express true love and to have real concern for others. Gabriel Okaras once upon a time is about the artificial relationship and manners prevailing in the present world. According to the poet, past is better than present because there was love, sincerity and faithfulness in the past. But now, in the present, everything has changed. Hence, the poet wants to relive the past. Once upon a time, the people used to laugh with their hearts and eyes. That is, there was genuineness in what they said and did. But in the present, there is only outward teeth laugh without understanding the speaker's real self. The eyes are described as ice block cold. The people have become money minded and they develop their relationships only with the rich. Even when shaking hands with others, they are very artificial and mechanical. Guests are no longer welcome these days. They are given a warm reception only once. If they visit their friends or relatives thrice or more number of days, the doors are shut on them. In this materialistic and artificial world, the poet has learned many things. Especially wearing many faces like putting on many dresses. One has to have home face, office face, cocktail face and so on. All are fixed just like the portrait smile. As this is the way of the world, the poet has also learnt laughter with teeth. The art of saying goodbye when he means good riddance. Glad to meet you when he is not glad. I'm nice talking to you when bored. The poet wants to his son to imbibe the exemplary values of the past. Towards the end of the poem, the poet appeals to his son to show him how to smile wholeheartedly. He desires to revisit the past. He is nothing but a yearning for the innocence, faithfulness and sincerity. I hope everyone understood the poem. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.